This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So I think uh, yesterday, due to some confusion, some people joined in some other meeting. Eh? Okay. So today, let's um, understand again. I mean, I'll recap for a few minutes. And after that, I will continue with the next uh, steps. So what we what we are going to discuss. Okay, so uh, to start with, I think uh, some of you are from non-technical background. So first thing, we should aware of some of the basic terminology, right? Um, some of the basics, right? So uh, we should know what is client, what is server. So what is internet? Internet is nothing but cloud, right? So if you see um, the mobile or laptop or iPad, whatever we use, so all those are the clients. So those are like from there only we uh, try to access the internet, right? So obviously our devices will be connected to internet through internet. So whatever the website we want, we are able to open from the browser and we can access that information. So example, if you open youtube.com, so we should require internet. Through internet, the request will go to YouTube server. Right? Server is like a supercomputer. Right? Terabytes of memory, RAM, processor, everything. So huge hardware they maintain. So maybe the companies they maintain server looks like this. Okay. It's not like our regular computer. Okay, so companies they maintain multiple servers, right? So when you try to open youtube.com, they might have many servers, right? So based on the content what we search, based on that, so it will send the data from one of these servers so that through browser from our computer so we can see the information okay so just understand um, so what is server what is internet okay so technically internet is connected through wires right so even though we use wi-fi in our home but somewhere to our home you see some wired connection will be there from there we fix the rotor and access the internet in a wireless way right so each country i mean under the oceans there are many cables okay so whoever is the internet service provider so they will be having the connection through one of this port and uh, so once you open let's say from india you are opening the request will go to youtube maybe youtube server might be in us or other country so it will reach there and it will show the information okay in the background that is what will happen okay and also the pictorial representation for internet is cloud okay uh, the next thing so just application right when we say application example youtube.com okay you are opening on the screen whatever we see okay so that is the presentation layer means so whatever we see and interact so that uh, that screen we call as presentation layer but in the background right so when you type something in the youtube search and enter you see the relevant information the corresponding videos it will display right internally some logic will execute and um, the communication will uh, go to the database okay as so example youtube right so in their database in you i mean in their youtube server they install so one of the database software like oracle sql server okay so from the database based on what we are searching 
it will retrieve the information and display on the screen right so database is nothing but to organize the data in a, a meaningful fashion so that is also one kind of software which will be installed in the server like in our computer how we install the software in the same way they install and use that to organize the data okay so we should know these details okay database is nothing but the collection of tables right so table will hold multiple rows of data say example uh, employee information right student information or whatever right the information uh, we store in a meaningful way in the database okay so client is nothing but our computer right so if you want to open youtube in our computer we need browser right? either it can be chrome or firefox or whatever the browser we need to open and through that we can open the one of the website the request will go to the server so in the server based on the request so based on what we are searching or based on that it will execute some logic from the database right where they store their information it will retrieve that corresponding database and return to the screen through browser we see from our computer right that's what will happen okay so these are some of the basics okay so now we need to know about the cloud computing okay so cloud computing is nothing but the internet computing okay so we need internet for this okay the process of providing the service through internet we call as cloud computing okay it is a approach like a programming right when you say programming which programming java dot net python like that cloud computing is a approach providing the services through internet okay so using this approach there are some companies they are providing the some of the services famous companies salesforce amazon google microsoft those are the some of the famous companies providing the cloud computing services okay so company to company the service what they provide will be different okay so high level you see um, these are the three famous type of services offered using internet using cloud the software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service so these are the possible services right so all these services they offer through internet that means no need to install anything okay all uh, they need is internet and have some basic computer right so the next thing software as a service example any web application we can consider as a software as a service so facebook gmail or whatever on day to day we open any website which we can access through internet so we call that as a software as a service okay. platform as a service means the company they offer a platform where we log into one of the website and uh, develop the code or do the configuration and change the way how the application looks right so such kind of environment the platform where we have the capability to configure and develop the applications so that we call as a platform as a service okay so some companies they offer platform as a service facebook they are not offering right google they are not offering salesforce is one of the company who provide the platform as a service right they provide a platform where we can configure and uh, write the code and we can develop the application 
okay so not only salesforce microsoft dynamics so joho crm there are some companies in the market who provide those services okay so the next thing infrastructure as a service means distributing the hardware through internet so that we call as infrastructure as a service right you see server server looks like this okay so from server they distribute the uh, hardware through internet so example google drive right all of us when we register we get the google drive account and uh, we get 20 gb we can also buy right if you want 100 gb you can buy and uh, they allocate 100 gb right like me like uh, many people they buy right when they buy from the server right google company they might have many servers from their servers they distribute the hardware okay so maybe same server but they'll distribute that memory to hundreds of thousands of people okay so that's the concept so not only distributing the memory even the processor and ram those kind of things also can be distributed example um, in some of the projects if you want to access we we cannot directly work in our local system okay we need to go to example citrix.com they provide the username and password when you enter and log in you see you will be entered into one of the client system but that system is a virtual system right so not the real system so through internet they create a virtual environment with ram processor but that virtual environment requires that virginal hardware where is that virginal hardware that hardware should be one of the from one of the server okay so anyway um, salesforce they are not offering infrastructure as a service some of the famous companies amazon aws google cloud platform gcp microsoft azure those are the companies they are famous for the infrastructure as a service okay so now the thing is what is the advantage with the cloud computing approach the advantage is uh, maybe same server they are distributing to multiple people right let's say if one person need to buy the server it's very very expensive right so all i need is 100 gb for that i don't want to buy server with uh, so many right so huge money startup companies they cannot buy right so here in this example let's say apartment building right when compared to individual house apartment building is cheaper right so but we have to share few things commonly so common um, park and gym area and electricity power some of the things but you will have your dedicated space right so multi-tenant tenant means who stay for rent right so multiple same building but multiple people they can have their own dedicated space and few things they share same thing server also right so server multiple customers right so they'll have their dedicated space but everything is in same server if something happens to that server let's say there is a power failure right server won't be available everyone having space in that server they will be impacted so something like that okay uh, the next thing so by using the cloud computing concept salesforce is one of the software company they have headquarters in san francisco right so that company they started in 2000 um, with a slogan no software that means they want to provide the services through internet okay so mainly salesforce company it's a software company right so they are offering two applications to the customers 
I mean, they are offering two types of services software as a service, platform as a service. So, as a software as a service, they are offering the Salesforce CRM application, platform as a service, they are offering salesforce.com platform. Okay. Uh, it's like they provide the applications. Any any company who want to use their application, they register. They'll have a ready-made application. On top of that, using the platform. So, and they make the changes and uh, use those applications as per their business. So, now here we have the confusion. So, what are the applications they offer? okay so they offer crm applications what is crm okay so crm means customer relationship management so on day to day if you take any business all companies they use crm okay. any questions if you don't have any questions please stay on mute so if you have questions you can ask so any questions so far okay um yeah so crm right so any business they need crm either the business is a product based company or they provide the services all types of business they need the crm okay product based means example apple right they sell laptops ipads iphones Samsung, they sell mobile phones. Dell, yeah, they, they sell laptops, keyboards, right? So all those are the product-based companies. There are also service-based companies, right? So example, Airtel, Verizon, at and So they provide the network, internet services, right? So every month if you want to access internet you need to pay and uh, use their services right so any company either product based or service based so they use the crm okay so the meaning of the crm customer relationship management meaning every interaction with the customer they capture all the information in each phase of the business they capture the details as part of the application so that is nothing but the crm okay so mainly as part of the crm you see um, first thing marketing okay so example iphone 16 right how we know about iphone 16 they give the advertisements, paper advertisements, and they release to news in different ways, right? They campaign, right? Campaign is nothing but advertisements. So it's like a table where they maintain, right? For iPhone 16, paper advertisements, how much they are spending, right? TV advertisements, let's say they are spending $5,000. Right? For internet advertisements, they are spending $10,000. Right. So whatever the budget they have, so all those details, right, they capture as part of the campaign table. It's like an advertisement. Okay. So what is the adv advantage with that advertisement? So when they release, okay, so maybe Apple, they won't sell to the customers directly, right? So we buy the Apple phone through maybe Amazon or we buy from one of the shop like that right so what apple company they do they distribute they sell these phones to distributors right those are also some companies who sell different types of mobile phones right so they also sell apple right so they give to distributors but distribution companies they approach apple Right. Let's say one of the company, Costco. So um, they want to sell iPhone 16. They will reach out to Apple company. Right. So any company who respond to the advertisement, uh, 
and uh, they want to discuss about understanding how much discount or whatever so if some someone who is showing interest that will be captured as a lead okay in the lead so let's say um, from Costco one of the person right so they approached Apple company okay so the information of the Costco company right they capture in the lead and also the person behalf of Costco company who is the person approached that person first name last name email and the title in the Costco company so all those details they capture as part of the lead okay lead is someone who is having some interest so it's not that uh, they are going to buy right so after talking at apple marketing team they call to that lead right the person who is responded from costco and uh, uh, understand what they want if they are showing further interest the lead will be converted into account contact and opportunity okay uh, so first let me this is for the campaigning so different types of campaign holdings and uh, sponsoring for a event or internet paper advertisements right so all these are the campaigns through that leads will be generated but how lead is generated maybe by seeing the phone number from the uh, newspaper they can call or they'll visit the website nowadays when you visit the website you see some live chat right yeah, also web form they can fill in different ways they'll try to um, approach right so the lead information will be captured in such a way so once lead is there and after talking to them if they are showing further it will be converted to account contact opportunity right account account is nothing but the company information okay so in our example costco that information is captured into account right so the person who interacted from costco so example let's say sam is one person so the details will be captured into the contact okay so opportunity is nothing but a deal right what they want so let's say a costco company they need 10000 iphone 16 phones okay, that's the deal right so next thing once the opportunity once the deal is generated it's not like they are going to buy right they ask for the quotation right if they like the discount and the, all the terms then they'll uh, buy right so that means money will be generated to the apple company right they request for quotation and if they don't like they don't take if they like they'll take so once they buy the next thing is support right so maybe a costco company they sell to the customers individual persons like you and me right we go and buy so let's say if there is some problem okay directly we can approach apple company so whenever you approach apple company they create a case right case is like a service request okay they work on that and uh, if your phone is under warranty they provide the service for free of cost okay so that will be captured as part of the case okay this is fall under service right so now uh, if you see as part of the crm mainly you see three uh, different applications already yesterday we discussed so marketing team they deal with the campaign and generating lead sales team they work with the opportunity convincing the customer providing the quote and uh, so try to close the deal successfully that's the job of the sales team and the service team so they talk to customers 
right? Through phone or mails or once they get the case, they'll uh, interact with the corresponding technical team and try to solve the problem. Okay, so all these are the different types of teams work in a company. Right? If you take any business, mostly you see the company, they have this kind of departments with the employees. Okay, so ultimately, so Apple company, if they use Salesforce, right, from Apple company, who are part of the marketing and the sales and the service, they use the Salesforce application to capture the day-to-day -day information, whatever they are dealing with the customer. Okay, so that's about the CRM. Okay. So now the next thing, what is this platform? Right. So now, so example, right. So assume that Apple is the company. They are using Salesforce. They have all these departments. They decided to go with the Salesforce. Right. So how the project starts. Right. So let me take one example. Uh, let's take like this. Okay, let's say Sneha is uh, one of the employee from Apple company. So let's say she's the um, she's leading the CRM. She's head up that CRM to get this CRM software, right? So now Sneha and the team, right? So what they'll do, they research, which is the best software. Okay, there are different options, Microsoft, Dynamics, Salesforce, many things, but at present Salesforce is number one in the CRM. Okay, so they know that Salesforce is the one of the uh, number one CRM platform. So they want to try with Salesforce, right? So how they start, right? Do they need to buy and uh, start? No, right? So there is a free trail. They can register and they can see for one month. So how, what is Salesforce and how the applications looks, right? So all those things they can explore for one month. And after that, really, if they like, okay, then only they will go with the buying the Salesforce software and using for their company, right? So, but where to register for free, right? So, before registering, right, they can simply go to salesforce.com, right? So, once they reach here, you see live chat. Let's say they don't know anything. They only know that Salesforce is the number one CRM platform. They don't know anything. But they know that they need the uh, CRM application for the marketing, sales, and service. right? So they can chat. Some of the person from Salesforce, they call. They also suggest based on the client, right? Let's say Apple company, they have 2,000 employees who use marketing, sales, and the service. Right? So based on their requirement, they suggest so which edition, right? which is better for them. Okay, so nowadays Salesforce, they have many, many other different services. So if the customer is struggling, they can talk to Salesforce marketing team based on the client requirement they suggest which is good okay so example for sales right so they're explaining what are the options you have all those things okay so ma mainly um, right so see try enterprise unlimited right so different options are there right they're also explaining Compare uh, sales cloud editions and all these features. Okay, so like that they start, they try to explore. 
so let's say after talking to the sales force marketing team sales team right so so let's say they want to go with the unlimited edition right unlimited so if you see it is like monthly 330 dollars per one user right so they have to pay yearly so but before they go with that they can click on try for free simply all they need to do they need to fill the details first name last name let's say apple company sneha right job title let's say director click on next right maybe email address and other details and submit so that right so automatically one of the account will be generated where sneha can log in and see how salesforce looks okay so in general i'm not going to sign up once you sign up it will expire in 30 days right so for you to show that right so already i have an account so once you sign up on day to day to open salesforce so this is the website login.salesforce.com just um, i'll show you really where to register but i'm just showing by login right once isn't that you registered you land here like this okay so here um, this is the app launcher here you see so all the applications whatever salesforce they are providing so mainly marketing service sales all these applications right so i'm just opening marketing application you see as part of the crm whatever we are we discussed right campaign it's nothing but advertisements so leads and all this information right sneha and team they explore all this right first they explore all these applications i'll also explain right once after they explore so what are the next steps we assume that they started exploring right once they log in these are the applications so now campaign right so in salesforce the basic terminology to understand salesforce so especially if you are from the other background in salesforce right one application one project is like one application right sales project service project marketing or maybe going forward uh, recruitment they need one application so it's like one application is like one project right so here in salesforce we call as application maybe for each project one application based on it and the next thing right to store the data on day to day to store the data we use tables right so all of us we know what is a table table stores the data set of data right so here in salesforce we call the table as object okay so when we say object you have to understand it's a database table where we store the data and also on day to day we call column right when you say table example student table right it will have columns first name last name email date of birth right all those details so those we call as columns right otherwise just uh, assume that you open excel sheet right there you see columns and rows okay so here in salesforce instead of columns we call as fields okay field is nothing but a column in the table okay so and also right um, to access the table right so i mean if it is really a database to access the data from database we need to use some kind of query right so here in salesforce we don't write any query with the point and click from ui we can access okay otherwise just uh, think like this google sheet 
so you know about excel or google sheet right so let's say this is a student table right so it's kind of it's like a tab in salesforce right here first name is one column last name is one column email is one column something like that right and here we keep the information right so maybe whatever the important information so keep on we can enter multiple uh, rows of data right here first uh, row is for the column heading first name last name right email so let's say one more table right so here um, uh, some other information right so let's say course okay so maybe what is the course name so what is the syllabus or duration or whatever fees everything so this is one table where we store right so these are like these are like a tabs right those are the tabs in salesforce okay tab is nothing but it's linked to a table when you click on that tab it will show the data present in a particular table okay so in salesforce in general <coughs> sorry so we need to use queries kind of thing in salesforce also we write the queries but we have a user interface using tab tab is nothing but it's linked to a particular object object means table okay automatically whatever the data present in the table it will show okay this is the basic terminology okay now if you go back to salesforce okay so here the applications we can access from here so these dots whatever you are seeing this one we call as app launcher okay maybe for first few days uh, right you don't know maybe right but technically going forward we call this one as app launcher these dots okay when you click here you'll see all the applications even few applications it show here if you want to see all you can click on view all so here you can see so marketing or sales or service whatever we can open right and present already you, you open um, marketing application right here now at present we are in the marketing crm this is the application name this place is for the application name okay and if you see all these are the tabs home tab in general in home tab reports kind of things can be displayed so we'll discuss what is report and all those things going forward okay so now um, the important objects object means table campaign right is nothing but storing the advertisements information and so i clicked on this campaign tab so when you click on this automatically in the salesforce database so whatever the data present in the database all that information it will retrieve and display here okay and also here one point right so when any company when they register with the salesforce as a package automatically they get the built-in ui if you see so far we did not write any code any configuration by default this is the screen this is the web page ready-made page from salesforce right and also default business logic right so when you click on a particular button what should happen that logic already they have predefined logic is there and also when you when you do some action example from here I'm clicking here if you see you are seeing the data automatically some logic execute and it is also bringing the data from the database so where is the database 
right when you register with salesforce everything as a package the ui the background business logic built-in database right salesforce will take care of having the database software and organized information and built-in server space right we also get the we also need the space in one of the salesforce server right salesforce they have hundreds of servers right so here all this data whatever you see it occupies some space some memory is needed right that memory space by default salesforce they are using through one of their server okay so so let me uh, take some time to explain so where we can see the salesforce server and so what exactly happens right any company when they register as a package they are providing these applications and everything how we know that we got this in which salesforce server okay so once we log into salesforce let's click on this gear icon and they click on setup okay so from here the first thing is the company information so here you'll know in which salesforce server uh, this salesforce account is created okay so organization name apple some of the person name so time zone and all those details so here main thing instance this is the server in this server when when this account is registered in this server they get the space server means server looks like this right salesforce they have many servers like this they have hundreds of servers in us in japan in india in different countries they have the servers right so when apple company when they register out of all these servers in which server they have the in which server they got the space okay so to know that okay so you know here we know that this is the instance name server name to see all the servers of the salesforce there is a website called trust.salesforce.com okay just uh, simply search for trust salesforce trust okay so this is the website so here um, at present uh, we are dealing with the sales and service product okay so now click on this status okay so now see all these are the different servers so maybe here you are seeing ap right ap means asia pacific okay so eu means european right sw means sweden usa right so different servers are there okay so now we know i copied our server name this is the, our server name right this is the one so in this server so when we register i mean for us really we did not register whatever account i opened when it is registered got space here okay and if you see um and again right server is like a super computer okay so what salesforce do in their server whatever the required software right so the database software whatever is required they install the platform right to run the code or to whatever applications we are opening to run that there is a platform needed whatever is required for that that also they install in this server right it's like a computer only but it's a super computer they have 
use hardware and uh, they install their software and make it ready okay now if any company like apple or dell or whenever they register they allocate some of the space in this server right maybe apple company they have some space in this server let's say dell company when they register they also might get space in the same server okay but salesforce they guarantee right so whatever apple company whatever data they are storing that cannot be seen by the dell right vice versa okay they guarantee about that security okay again now if you go back and see even though multiple companies they have the space in the same server right they they are, they are commonly sharing whatever the software installed in this server right whatever power supplied to this server everything is common right only the common point is uh, only the dedicated thing is the the server space what they provide is different okay? like like this apartment building right? <coughs> sorry the server i mean the power water everything is common but everyone have their individual dedicated space right it's guaranteed that other person cannot see in other flat what is happening right we have the privacy for each and every uh, flat same way same server maybe right everyone use the same software and uh, same power if that server is down right whoever is part of this server all those clients so they cannot access salesforce right it's like that okay so just understand this point so and also once they have the platform once they have the software it's not like forever it is same right all all companies they'll try to improve their software day by day month by month year by year right so the software whatever they offer as part of the server they upgrade that software for every four months okay so salesforce company they go with the seasons okay so they go with um, winter spring and summer right total three releases they do every year for every four months there is a release it starts with winter right so now if you see here this version winter 25 okay so winter 25 is one of the version after a few months you see spring 25 right summer 25 so after that winter 26 like that okay so whatever the new enhancements as part of the platform they upgrade those things into this server right so maybe some other company they get the space in some other server some other salesforce server right so let's say in this server okay so what they'll do they upgrade their software in each and every server every week in a week let's say they upgrade uh, 20 servers or something like that um, they, they provide the date right if you see maintenance so they also provide the date when exactly they are going to update with the new features okay so for that right so when they update what we need to do let's say apple they are using what they need to do they don't need to do anything automatically salesforce they do right maybe they take few uh, 30 minutes uh, weekly maintenance or something like that they upgrade and um, so maybe apple employees when they log in they start seeing the new features okay so they don't need to spend time on upgrading software in the background salesforce they take care of everything 
so all apple company they need to do pay for the user licenses and use their software okay it's like that okay so just understand so any company when they register they get the space in one of their server and uh, what is happening to that server you can open this trusted.salesforce.com from here you can see what is the version and all these details okay so just understand okay now coming back to what we are discussing the campaign we are understanding about the campaign this is a tab which is linking to the campaign table. so why i explained all these things i am saying say ready-made package server space database and the business logic and ui everything like a ready-made dress what we buy like that right on top of that company to company right it might not fit exactly right so we need some alterations even company to company when they register so apple company so they might not exactly use whatever the marketing sales and service salesforce company they are offering on top of that they need some changes to meet with their requirements right maybe some other company so example coca-cola they are also using salesforce but their business is something different right the way how they operate the marketing team sales team service team might be different when compared to apple so like that business to business they need some something different than these ready-made applications so whatever extra things they need on top of these ready-made applications for that only we need to work right once we get the job so our day-to-day -day job is achieving those extra requirements on top of whatever salesforce they are offering okay we will discuss what are the extra things what they ask first let's <clears throat> explore about the standard applications so whatever they are offering right so now when i click on this tab if you see initially nothing is there right but what is this the thing is when you click on this tab in real time for the client right there can be thousands of millions of records instead of sh showing all the records right so, record is nothing but a row okay um, instead of showing all the records i think i did not mention here so in table we see rows right those technically here we call as records okay instead of showing all the records this these we call as list views these are nothing but filters right so out of thousands of records which records you want to see right we don't want let's say there are 10000 records we don't want to see all 10000 records every time right so here recently viewed means so one of the one of the user when they log in so recently whatever the campaigns this user is open those it display okay so far we did not open anything it's not displaying anything right so all active campaign means the campaigns which are active okay i mean there is a field called active if that is true so those it display okay internally there is a filter right this is the list view if you see here these are the list view filters i mean this list view controls here you see the filter what is the filter behind this right all campaigns where active column that column value is equal to true those it is display we can also create our own view right click on new and we can create our own view right let's say i want to see only today created campaigns or this week created campaigns right based on our criteria 
we can also create a view and apply our filter whatever we want okay just understand for now i'm not creating so these list views most of the objects you see the purpose is to filter the data from a table okay so just understand now let's write all these are the campaign records but if you see uh, maybe instead of using this existing account right so let me register let me register for an account and uh, do in our account only so that it will be like more engaging right so now let me register right so the thing is if you register here it is 30 days free trial okay after 30 days it will expire if you don't buy and whatever we do whatever data we create whatever we configure everything will go off okay <laughs> but for us so we don't want to lose our account whatever we are practicing we want to keep that forever okay so the thing is whoever want to start with salesforce right so maybe you want to so there are different types of users right so let's say uh, in this example apple sneha is one of the employee right and team who are part of the sales or marketing or service right all these employees are the end users right end users of the salesforce crm application end user means who use that application on day to day for their business for their job right those people are the end users okay but so let's say they have some requirements on top of the standard applications right so let's say they explored sales marketing and service and uh, sneha and team they identified 100 requirements to start with right who will work on this 100 requirements who will help apple company to achieve their requirements maybe apple company they have it department okay those people as part of the it department who know salesforce they will work for these requirements are most of the times clients they work with some other companies who provide the software services okay so example this apple company they have the internal team but still right so they want to some project they also give for some specialized software providing companies okay so let's say they invite some companies for bidding for the project who can help with the salesforce okay so some companies like wipro tcs those companies let's say tcs company they won the bidding okay so what is the relation between apple and tcs so this company they charge apple company and tcs company they allocate a team who can work on the salesforce requirements and deliver the requirements as per the apple company requirements right so now mostly when you get the job right we get in tcs right so our job is we join in this right so here um, if someone who can work only for the configuration part right the point and click while enhancing requirements salesforce they offer some point and click tools if you know only about those tools if you don't know the development so those people we call as admins right so developer who can who know admin plus also development who can write the code and 
and has their applications. Some requirements we cannot do with the point and click. So who know both colors developers? It means developers, right? So maybe who is leading the team or dev team or so team lead, right? And also architect, meaning maybe uh, developers three years, four years experience, they can work for the requirement, but uh, maybe they don't know some of the features how to implement. So high level approach, how the requirement can be achieved. Those kind of things, architects kind of, right? That role people, they know, they have the knowledge about all the Salesforce features and they suggest which option is better for development. Those people are architects. And also, once after doing the development for testing, right? QBA means quality assurance, testing team. Okay, so they also need some testers. So again, those kind of people. So and also who talk to business, right? Who Who is going to talk to this Apple team and uh, gather the requirements, uh, these 100 requirements, right? So maybe these people, they cannot understand, right? So who will communicate with the client and uh, get the clarification about the requirement, how to do. So for that, uh, right, companies, they maintain business analyst, right? So BA or product um, managers or product one or something like that, right? So those kind of people you see. So these are the different types of roles you see at high level. Okay, so when we get the job, we get the job with one of this role. Okay, in this course, our target is this admin plus development, right? So BA, right? Maybe they might not be exactly knowing about development. They should just know the basics. So how Salesforce works, some basic information about the Salesforce. Right, but architect is an experienced person who should know about all the Salesforce functionality, admin development, many things. Maybe this guy might not be doing the development, right? Maybe he might not be able to write the code. Maybe, right? I mean, in general, whoever is having huge experience with the development, those people will become as architect. Okay, so maybe some people, even though they don't know development, still they can manage providing the solutions. Okay, but the thing is, if you know this, we can enhance our skills little bit by already if we have BA background, if you attend this course, you can mold and you can apply for the Salesforce BA job. So already you have QA background, you can apply for Salesforce QA job, right? So already you are an architect, right? So if you know this little bit with some um, some extra references, you can also become as architect like that, okay? So these are the roles, okay? So again, why I am explaining this? as a end user right so like this snehan team these people right? let's say one new employee is joining in marketing team or sales team before joining they want to know how salesforce looks because they know that apple company they are using salesforce right let's say ba or admin or dev i want to start with salesforce as a dev i want to know how salesforce looks so for everyone the ultimate option is they can register for free okay um, and also right um, 
if you open this meeting link so i'm so you can see an attachment there okay here you can see all the day-to-day -day recordings so here also i provided the link how to register okay so this is the website you need to open okay so don't open that uh, free direct here right don't register here so anyone who want to explore about how salesforce looks and if you don't want to lose your account right it will be there forever if you register here the only the rule is you need to log in at least once in three months if you log in your account will be maintained okay that's the only rule so you need to open this website and uh, you need to click on browse trials okay so this is something like that little bit scroll down and you see here salesforce developer edition all you need to do click on sign up and fill the details and sign up that's what we need to do okay for us uh, i'll sign up today and uh, we'll continue tomorrow the further details okay so here let's say sneha and team right they need so let's say sneha is registering okay so here i am going to give my email address okay so you can choose anything okay so developer it's not a matter okay you can choose any role if you choose any role you don't see any difference on the way how it creates the org okay so company in general right the company name right apple is the client that name okay but for all the classes i'm using the same name right so to make it something different i'm adding this but this place is for the company name okay region in general what is the headquarters of that company that okay based on this right the server whatever they allocate might different right so uh, if you choose usa you get one of the server present in usa if you choose india maybe they allocate a server which is located in india okay so it's better whatever the country we are if you give that name uh, anyway i mean you can choose any country okay so you can choose some of the so i'm choosing this i mean this is really you can give right anything something wrong also okay and this is the main thing okay so here it should be like your first name dot last name at the rate company dot com it should be in that format something at the rate something dot com it should be in that format okay basically let's say sneha uh, working in apple company registering so sneha first name dot last name at the rate apple dot com so that's the way we create the username okay but what i am going to do sneha thread technically apple.com right so i am just saying batch 107 this place is for company name okay simply i am just giving as batch 107 okay so like this we have to give and uh, i agree and uh, sign up okay here main thing give the correct email address because they will send the password instructions to this email okay so give that agree sign up so once you click on sign up maybe it might take few minutes or sometimes 30 minutes also okay so wait for that much time okay sometimes immediately you don't see okay so it's saying almost there please check your email
Yes, it will take. Excel sheet, right? You know. Uh, sorry. The sign the sign up link is in the Excel sheet, correct? Yeah, this one. This is the link. Okay. Okay, you have the meeting invitation, right? In that meeting invitation. Okay, you have attachment or there is a link course documents. Yes. If you open, you go to documents and here it is there. Okay. Okay. So all of you just you need to register like this. Okay. Uh, the mail will come after some time. Okay. So maybe tomorrow we'll continue with that. I'll check that email and sign up. Okay. So for now, uh, yeah, we are done for today. Tomorrow we'll continue with the other things. So maybe tomorrow I only take 30 minutes okay, because I have some deployment. Okay. So we'll have some short class and day after tomorrow we'll again continue. Uh, still, that is also like a demo. Okay. Yeah. So before ending today, so any questions, anyone based on whatever we discussed, any questions? this link that you showed she you know is it's free registration and free account for uh, forever right this is the login once in three months to make sure it, we don't lose it correct yeah yeah correct. If once you register regularly uh, sorry if, if you're not opening it regularly at least once in three months we have to open so that yeah yeah correct. so uh, in case if you don't open they will also send one email okay so you are inactive if you don't log in it will be deactivated in one week something like that okay, at least by checking that email uh, if you log in once again it will continue for three months it's like that okay yeah any other questions Hello, uh, Srinu, uh, do we have any demo session for development part? So do you know admin? So here in Salesforce, admin is prerequisite for development. Okay. Um, demo uh, for development will start when after completing the admin. Okay. Okay, after completing the admin. Again, first three days demo for development. Sometimes some people they only attend admin, right? Some people they attend admin plus development both. It's like that. Admin is 15 days course, you know, or is it more? Two months. Admin is two months? Yeah. Okay. So nowadays, a uh, lot of syllabus. Yeah, so okay. we'll continue tomorrow and the recording uh, in my morning.